um, Bashir from Yambur was asking about Sunnat al-Fajr. Now, we all know that one of the greatest voluntary acts that a person would offer is Sunnat al-Fajr. And Sunnat al-Fajr is one of the 12 rak'ahs per day and night that whoever observe, observes them would have a house built for him in Jannah. And the Prophet said that these two voluntary rak'ah are better than whatever the sun has risen over, meaning the whole world. Yet these are two rak'ahs are better than that. Now, the Sunnah is to pray them home, and then you go to the masjid. But if you are afraid that you may miss the first takbir, because you woke up late, or you took your time in the bathroom, then you should go to the masjid, and if the salah has not been called for the iqamah, then you should pray them immediately. Sometimes you come into the masjid and the iqamah is being called. Can I pray these two rak'ahs? The answer is no, it's totally prohibited. And if you pray it, Allah will not accept it from you. Because the Prophet said the hadith, whenever the salat is being called for, there is the iqamah, then there is no prayer accepted except that prayer which the iqamah was made for. So you have to, it is a must, you have to pray uh, uh, the mandatory prayer, the fard prayer. Now, after the, you conclude the fard prayer, can you pray these two rak'ahs? Or should you wait until sunrise? Both are acceptable. The first one, the Prophet ﷺ saw a man praying after Fajr, two rak'ahs, behind the pillar of the masjid, and he came to him and said, is Fajr 4? Is Fajr 4? And the man concluded his prayer quickly and said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I came and I found the prayer had been called for. I joined the congregation and did not have time to pray my two voluntary prayers. That is the Sunnah al-Fajr. The Prophet did not object to that and he did not com uh, comment on it, which means that it is a verification of his action. So you have the option of doing this after the farb or you wait until sunrise and pray it then.